22 degrees downtown. Not bad. The weatherman says 23 degrees today. I'm saying 24. Barbara has thrown it right on out there. She says 27 degrees. It's going to be a hot one today. Well, okay. We'll see where it ends up. It's Friday. Coming into a brand spanking new weekend. And I'm absolutely elated. I really, really am. Going to tell you everything about it. But first of all, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and for those of you that are joining us live on Facebook Live right now, absolutely excited, but yes, we're going all the way back to New Jersey, catching up with my therapist. Yeah, Randy O'Neill's joining us and believe me, it is always, always a pleasure to catch up with my friend over in New Jersey. Uh, now, if you don't know about Randy O'Neill's music, check this out. Holiday to remember right here at Galaxy. <laughs> Tina in Oklahoma. Hey, nice to have you Tina. And how's Angel? I hope she's doing well. Nice to have you on board this morning. Um, oh, look at that. We've got a love heart from, <laughs> from Randy. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> I, I never get, get enough women giving me love hearts. I never do. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to give you love, Grant. Oh, thank I you. Hope. Thank you, sweetheart. I, I hold that very, very special. I really do. Um, how's the COVID thing doing over there for you? Um, well, I finally got my first COVID shot, so that's always exciting. Okay, did you catch COVID? No. I've been avoiding it. I've been so good. <laughs> Even though I've been going into work every day, um, the schools are, um, you know, these hybrid schedules and, um, seeing most of my kids virtually, but I'm in the building. So just being safe and, you know, trying to keep my wits about me. But um, it, it, it was a tough year. I had a lot of losses and lost some friends along the way. Made some new ones too, so. Yeah, believe me, we've, we've had some losses ourselves from different artists and families and members of families that we know from around the world you know what i mean Ed, this is just absolutely atrocious this thing what scares me literally randy is that it's got mutant strains that means it's intelligent it's outwitting us for sure exactly exactly you know? and, i mean barbara's got friends that are coming out of england that are scientists working on the astrazeneca deal over there, they're in Oxford right now. She talks to these guys all the time, and they're baffled a lot of the time. You know what I mean? How do you beat something that beats the scientists? Yeah, yeah. It's scary, and everybody's taking it so nonchalantly. You know what I mean? So some people are. It's like an extreme. People are either like, "Oh my God, we still got to be on top of this," or people are like are, are giving up. You know, throwing in the towel. Like, there's nothing in between. Exactly, you know? exactly. Well, yesterday, Texas just gave up. Yes. Oh, yeah, Texas and Missouri gave up. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I am not going to Texas forever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's I'm nothing, sorry. There's nothing I want to see there. Exactly. So we'll ship everybody that's got it there. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it'll be like Escape from New York with snakes, clicks, and but we'll send them all to Texas. <laughs> there you go. There's the idea. Let's go and have some fun. I'm the youngest on the train You were there when I skimmed my knee You always said it would be a three But here I am and it only me Can we go as well, eh? <laughs> Tina, 
Tina, it's an absolute pleasure to have you joining us. It really, really is. And for everybody else that is joining us right now on Facebook Live, welcome. It is an absolute pleasure. We've got Randy O'Neill joining us, coming out of New Jersey. Uh, well, I could say New Jersey, but then I'm, I'm just a cab driver, aren't I? Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uber driver over there these days, isn't it? Are there any cab drivers left? Yeah, well, I don't know, just fat ones. Yeah, yeah, and Uber drivers. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, everything's Uber driver. Uh, do you still have the yellow cabs, though? I, that's what I'm saying. You don't see them so much anymore. I mean, they're around, but everyone's Ubering or um, a Lyft or something like that. Yep, believe mm -hmm. me. Believe me, it's a, it's a sign of the times, though, isn't it? Yeah. Now, uh, being a surreal time right now, Randy, uh, while in public transports and stuff like that, is it mandatory to wear a mask? In our state, it is. Texas, they're on their own. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I, me, you know, I'll, I'll stay in my car, to be perfectly honest. You know, anywhere I have to go, it's in my car. I'm not getting in any Uber or anyone else's car. I'm not taking public transportation. I'm not touching anything. That, that's funny. In fact, uh, Randy, I'm going to let you know, just not so long ago, I did an interview with a young lady who was in her car, and uh, she had a policeman walking up towards her, and she put up a sign in the window, a you know, driver's side window, saying, self-isolating and doing an interview with New Zealand. Please do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, she, she did. That's that good. is the fast thinking. Yeah, believe me. She was a lady who actually uh, sent me a voodoo doll as well. Yeah? Yeah, I don't hate anybody. I don't need a voodoo doll, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, believe me. I donate, I donated to, it to uh, Barbara's collection. I've got to be honest with you there. She's into dolls and stuff like that. So I said, here's the... She knows the origin. She knows all the uh, mechanics behind me getting this particular one. So I said, put it to your collection, believe me. I don't want to start a doll collection. They freak me out. Yeah, they do. I've seen too many Chucky and, uh, you know, Possessed Doll movies. What's that one? Oh, it's so good. But dolls are just creepy. Yeah, they are. i, I got to be honest with you, I have never, even as a child, never liked dolls or clowns. Oh, boy. Clowns don't bother me so much. Well, it, Pennywise. <sighs> but I just never thought they were funny. Yeah, well, they, they, never, been. they never I have mean, been. They're just creepy with big feet and a weird paint job. I know. You know, and that fluffy hairstyle. Yeah, nah, believe me. You see that in the middle of the night coming up your driveway, you'd want to do something really weird back to them, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, no, that, that's free. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks, I don't like clowns, I really don't. Oh, uh, yuck. <laughs> so, there's something about me you get to know there, Randy. Mimes? Uh, well, I, d I don't mind Marcel Marceau, uh, as far as a mime goes, uh, but you've got to ask the question then, if you hit him with a car, would he make a noise? Hmm. Yeah. No one heard it. Yeah. I mean, it's a conundrum. <laughs> well, would he just mime, ouch? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, very, very funny. Yeah, no, I don't mind mimes, especially if you can run over them. Quietly. Yeah, you know, I, you know, if they're standing there doing the invisible wall or stuff like that, yeah, no worries. Not harming anybody, uh, as long as they're not painted. You know what I mean? If they're painted, you then... You can look them through the white paint, though. And... Uh, really? No. Really? <laughs> Yuck. I'm sorry. Uh, all that sort of stuff is a little weird, but i got to be honest with you, I have worked with a few uh, circuses over the years, and uh, including Cirque du Soleil, I've done the sound for them, and, uh, well, you know, some things are acceptable, you know what I'm saying? A Cirque du Soleil is just sheer talent. It is. But, you know, I had a, my first band was AMA Against Medical Advice. And I had a keyboard player who actually left the band to work for Barnum & Bailey Circus, which was a good steady gig for him, so... Well, well, you know, I, I get it, I do, run away to the circus. I wanted to do that as a child as well, but then, you know, I miss the animals. I've got to be honest with you, I miss the animals, I, the... Uh, 
even though they were being mistreated and everything like that, and it's horrible to say, but sometimes, you know, a human circus is not the same as a real animal circus, uh, including, well, you know, I've been in to see a few magicians in Vegas, for instance. Uh, one of them had a rather major incident with some tigers. Uh, I went to go and see those guys. Oh. Yeah, that, I got mauled. Yeah, oh. he really did. And uh, believe me, that was absolutely fantastic. You know what I mean? And you knew those animals were well cared for. Right, they were loved. But they no, were. most circus animals aren't seeing the love, I think. Exactly. But believe me, those guys, they looked after their animals. And I think one of them just passed away not so long ago. Siegfried, Siegfried and Roy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, believe me, uh, absolute shame because what a fantastic set of entertainers they are and, and believe me or were they were fantastic now randy uh we started the show with a holiday to remember now darling tell me what was the holiday to remember basically it was just about growing up i was so close to my sisters growing up and we were always sticking together no matter what nonsense our parents were doing you know because they were they were drinking they were alcoholics and what we, we i had my sisters but then we grew up and life goes on and we drifted apart and it just really made me sad. And um, I kind of <laughs> kind of called them out a little bit. Um, but, it, it, you know, holidays, we weren't even getting together for holidays after a while. And it just really, again, made me sad. And, of course, I had my friends and my support and my music. Um, but I was missing my sisters. Okay, I get that. Unfortunately, I don't have sisters in my family, but, uh, well, I'm the other scale. I'm happy to be away from my brothers. Oh, yeah? Yeah, believe me, I am really, really happy. Uh, for a long time there, I was actually my brother's keepers for, a, you know, a good portion of my life, and uh, I'm very happy that they have got their own lives, moved on, and, uh, well, basically forgotten me. That means I can do the things that I want to do now, you know what I mean? I do. I do. But I yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah, but you I know, still, still love them as family. Still love them as family. Just, you know, distant family now, which is great with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you drift in and out of each other's lives, you know, be part as much as you want or not, you I, know. i, I got to be honest, Randy, I got sick of bailing them out of jail and getting them out of prison. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, you know, yeah. uh, sick and tired of the government saying, here, they got to come out of prison, we, they, can they live with you? And it's like, oh, really? Again? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, right. But that's my brothers, you know, you always stand up for them, you always put up with them, and then you always throw them out when you're just sick and tired of them. <laughs> right. Yeah, but they're gonna, you know they're going to be back, you know, it's like they, they don't go very far. No, you know? no, they know exactly where my fridge is. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know that's where the line is, you know. They don't mind dancing around it sometimes. Oh, yeah, believe me. <laughs> they do a lot of that. They really, really do. But uh, somebody had to be respectable and, uh, well, conscientious to look after these uh, young men. So uh, I never did get into trouble as much as they did, even though mostly I instigated it. I was the family... You know, if you included me, I'm the one who's talking you uh, your way out of it, so we don't get in trouble. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was my role. That was my youngest brother. Yeah, the younger, see? I was the youngest of the, of the three. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. that. I get that. I really, really do. You see, I was the guy who made the bullets and got my brothers to fire them. Ah. Well, that's the way my dad did it anyway. Don't have to play. Yeah, we did. I was, uh, yeah, believe me, I always said to these guys, you know, uh, the trick to not going to prison is actually not getting caught. Right. There's a good clue, right? That's why you include the youngest, because they're the, they're the ones who to get you out of it. Yeah, and they didn't want to include me anyway, because being the oldest, I was the slowest. Yeah. Yeah, so I... That's true. That's true. <laughs> it really is. They kept on saying, you're the oldest. You know, you just can't move the same way we can. Going, thanks, guys. I'm only 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been living with that stigma ever since. You old man. Thank you, guys. Oh, I appreciate right. it. 
<laughs> anyway, Randy, uh, it should have been you. Now, right. Hey, Randy, it should have been you. Tell me about it. It's a true story, actually. And if you see the video, it was filmed in a carousel. Um, because that's where it happened. There was a, there was this one guy. He was the sweetest, nicest guy to me in high school. Um, and um, we had a little amusement park, not adjoining park. It's now huge, but it used to be very small. And the high school was rented for senior night, or we have Zephyr night. And he took me there, and he was very sweet, and he wanted to go out with me. And I just was like, yeah, no, you know, I didn't have my head on straight. Like, he's the one you should go out with, but I wanted to be rescued. I wanted to be, you know, out of the house and with older guys. And looking back, you know, I didn't appreciate the people who were really being good to me. You know, I get that. I really, really do. And I've got a, what a Zephyr night. What's that? What what is Zephyr Night? What's that? Zephyr White Hole Zephyrs. We were the White Hole Zephyrs. <laughs> a Zephyr is a big, powerful wind in the Greek mythology, and that's what we were. Oh, okay. I thought it was a couple of skateboarders. No, no. So in our high school would rent out Dorney Park for the night. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Now, uh, do you remember the skateboarders, the Zephyrs? No. They used to wear vans. They uh, made vans the... Uh, popular shoe wear of the day. Oh, yeah, 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 California, yeah. Yeah, back there, believe me. And uh, I kind of thought, you know, you might have had one of those skateboarding kind of discotheque things that you went to. No, 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 no. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, you see, we Kiwis, we kind of uh, hear something like that and then we'll put two and two together and come up with 22. You know what I mean? So. I do. <laughs> I've never said math either. <laughs> right here at Galaxy 107 FM, it is an absolute pleasure to have Randy O'Neill right here with us, and it should have been you. Gosh, it's hot in here. Randy, guess what? It is 86.3 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Oh boy, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have Kiwi air conditioning. It's called Open a Window. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Uh, Sharon and Field is joining Hi, us. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Barbara's making funny faces. Hello Sharon, it is an absolute pleasure to have you with us and thank you for joining us here at Galaxy. Uh, for those of you that are watching this later on on YouTube, you know what to do, right? You do. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell, because of the notifications, right? You understand? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so tell me, not a lot of um, concerts going on over where you are right now, Randy. Are you doing more writing? Are you doing more recording? Um, I'm, I actually just I actually wrote a whole bunch of songs during February. It was a really good month. Um, and what I decided to do is I went to the studio and I did a live acoustic series for the people who are going to be are my fan club. Um, it's going to be part of, of a package I'm going to be sending out to people who sign up um, to be on my fan club as a little, you know, thank you, help to get to know them, get to know me. So okay, I'm I'll... really excited about it. It really came out great. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want, so, um... I want to plug that when we go back on air, if that's okay with you, Randy, because that's believe fine. me, um, check out Randy O'Neill's fan club. Tina says she loves this song. She Tina loves the song. Well, the radio as well. You know, She's Tina. Watching us. Very, very talented young lady that I'm talking to right now in Randy O'Neill, coming out of New Jersey. Um, we're going to get into trouble when I go over there too, <laughs> aren't we, Randy? We're going to get into so much trouble over there. Oh yeah. By the way, Long Island's not too far away from you, is it? No, not at all. Because this band I'm wearing at the moment, Box, comes from Long Island. Oh, that's great. Yeah, voice, that's a great t-shirt. Voices of Extreme. Uh, they've toured with bands like um, Tesla. Tesla. No, Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. And uh, what was that band that you liked? Um, Queensryche. Yeah. Oh, 
I like Queen's right. Yeah, these these guys have toured with them a couple of years now, you know what I mean? It's probably so. where I saw them on tour with them. I didn't see them live, but I've, I've, I've seen them. Brilliant band. And, and we love those guys. We really, really do. Um, <clears throat> in fact, they must be planning another tour soon. As soon as everything opens up again. Gosh, yeah. we need this to stop. We do. <laughs> stop the COVID now. Yeah. Been a year. We need to ban the COVID side. didn't do it, it did. hello, a uh, bit of an error code, never mind, we will give it a run anyway, what do you reckon? Now we have a live alert uh, warning for you, move immediately, yes, tsunami warning after shallow magnitude 8.1 in the Kermit Islands this morning. Uh, if you're anywhere near the beach, get the heck away right now. Do it now. Come and land. Come to us, believe me. Uh, and uh, we had a uh, 7.2 at 227 this morning as well, uh, just a few kilometers away. And uh, that was a rather interesting period of the morning as well, got to be honest. Everybody left Pakatani, they really did. Uh, thousands of cars leaving Pakatani coming this way earlier on. Uh, don't go back just yet. Hang in there. Stay for the day. You're welcome. All right? We would love to have you. Uh, don't go back just yet. Uh, but believe me, I don't think the uh, tsunami is going to be that much. Really. I really don't. So, two tsunami warnings in one day. Two earthquakes, part of New Zealand in one day. That's rather interesting. It really, really is. Uh, but I want to talk about Randy O'Neill and Randy... Uh, you were telling me about your new fan club that you're going to be putting together. Uh, tell me all about it, because I want our fans to be able to get in touch with you. Uh, believe me, if they do, you're going to have no other thing to do except answer all of these people uh, forever and a day now. How do we get involved with your fan club? Um, there's two ways to do it. One, um, you can join my Facebook fan page, which is um, Lost But Not Broken Club. So you can uh, join me there. If you go to go.randyoneal.com, you can get through there and then you get free stuff. So I'll mail you some free stuff, uh, an album download and some goodies um, that I had sent you before. So I have some goodies for you. But Facebook fan page is the easiest way um, to join. And I have live streams every week. And for joining, um, I was just telling Grant that I just put together this live acoustic series. It's three songs called um, My Story Through Song. And um, as part of signing up, I'm going to every day, uh, for three days, I'm going to send you a live acoustic version, a video of um, my journey. You know, that's fantastic, Randy. And believe me, uh, now you're going to have the whole world just come and visit you, become a Randy O'Neill fan. Bye. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> and we want that. We really, really do. Uh, Randy, we're going to have to wrap it up here right now. Unfortunately, we have other interviews along the way. Uh, but will you come back again? I absolutely will. I have another song coming out in a little more than two weeks. I'm running a little behind with that. And then my whole EP is going to drop. So um, good things coming. I've been riding up a storm. So hopefully by summer... Maybe even before that, by spring, I should be back in the studio. You know, I'm excited, Randy. I really, really am. I love, love, love your music. I love you as well. And uh, love to have you back here talking to our audiences all around the world. 70 uh, countries too, by the way, today. And 107 cities around the world have joined us this morning. So absolutely fantastic. It's a great... How many people are watching? 
Uh, I will let you know as soon as we come off. I'll be able to get that information for you. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Randy, don't go anywhere just yet. We'll hand you back to the Studio B. You're right here at Galaxy. Good morning. <laughs> Galaxy 107 FM Cardo.